How are we going everyone? I'm standing in front of our Espalier citrus trees here now. I'm not here to talk about Espalier work because if you want to learn about that you can go to our YouTube channel because we've got a designated playlist of all things citrus, especially Espalier, how you can do it yourself. So if you're looking to do some more citrus tree growing and planting and spallering, check that out on our YouTube channel. I'm here today to talk about citrus gall wasps because I've had a lot of emails come through, people asking when's the best time to start spraying your tree as a preventative uh, protection for your citrus trees for citrus gall wasp. And for those of you who don't know what citrus gall wasp is, well basically it's a wasp, adult little fly or wasp if you like, that flies around onto the trees searching for young branches, young suckling or sapling branches. And what I mean by that are little branches like this here. These new growths that you have up to nine months old, that's what they're attracted to. And what they do is basically they're looking for somewhere to lay their eggs so that the larvae can grow and feed off and then mature and go on and reproduce again. That's a life cycle of life basically. Also here, leaf miner, this is another problem that occurs on citrus trees. It shouldn't be active. This is old stuff, meaning this was from last summer, autumn. In winter, it won't be active. But again, this will become active in the coming months. Now, I know not all of us live in the colder regions of Australia like I do. Have a look at me, dress up like a summer day. Nice and warm, I'm keeping here with all the woolies on because it gets really cold. Now today, I'd be lucky if it got up past seven degrees. At night, minus two, minus three frost everywhere. So these sort of temperatures down here in Victoria in this colder region, the citrus gall wasp and leaf miner isn't going to be active. It'll become active when the temperatures start to stabilise around 18 degrees up to 22 degrees consistently at night not to drop below 15 or 12 degrees. So if you're in the northern parts of Australia or areas of Australia where it is warm because it's not only the temperature surrounding your, your, your place, it's your microclimate within your backyard or front yard be it all that you're growing where you're growing your citrus tree. So if you've got average day temperatures around 16, 17 degrees and you've got a small area in the garden and you've got trees and walls around that area where your, your citrus are planted, protected, no doubt those, that temperature, that microclimate you have may be around 22, 23 degrees and it doesn't take much more than that for the, the critters, the little critters like the citrus gall wasp and leaf miner to find their way to your tree and infest it. So the question that has been posed uh, recently many a times and even today, uh, when do I I uh, spray my trees for citrus gall wasp. Do I do it now? Well, you know, the best thing you can do, better to be safe than sorry and spray your tree now, especially if you are in the warmer parts of Australia. I'm going to demonstrate it now how to spray it. I don't need to do it yet, but by mid-August, definitely, because we'll get a couple of spikes in temperature. It doesn't take much. Those, those insects will be up and at it and attacking your tree. And the problem we have is that you don't see the damage until it's too late. So like this, the leaf miner, when you see the leaves curling over and snail-like trails on them, the, the insect's already been there and dropped off the eggs and the larvae already penetrated through. Now with the citrus gall wasp, if you don't know what that is, they're lumps that start to protrude on the branches, on the younger branches. They start to swell out like a gall, that's the name. And inside there is a nest and it's full of little holes or pitted holes within it where the larvae or the citrus gall wasp young ones live and they take the sap off the tree. That stress that's caused on that branch causes it to swell, to callus over. It does slow the sap flow for the tree down. It also can cause a bit of stress to the tree to the point where it drops its leaves and starts dropping fruit. It may initially produce a lot more flowers as a reaction to the problem that's occurred so it can bring on the new life that's what all living things do but long term if you leave it untreated it will cause a lot of damage to your tree what do you do you prune the tree you basically prune off all the young galls that exist on the tree as much of them as possible without destroying the entire tree try and find the youngest branches to prune off you may not get all of them off and that's okay as well you may see online you can do your research online on drilling holes into the galls or getting a potato pillar and taking all the bark off with the skin on the outside, um, exposing airflow to it, damping it with, uh, dampening it with a little bit of metho as well. They're all great little practical approaches. My purpose here is to tell you not to get to that stage. Get to your tree before you get the lumps on it because your tree may have one, two or a hundred on them that haven't developed yet. And when they do develop, it's way too late. So you have to prune it. So prune as much of your tree off as possible. This here is an espalier tree. I'm going to demonstrate on the other young trees that I have over there. This has been pruned for the purpose of making it flat. We're going to spray it as well to protect it. 
And what I'm spraying it with, folks, is CGWS, Citrus Guard White Spray. I've used this not only on citrus, and I'm thinking of changing the name because I found it to be very effective in controlling codling moth and pear and cherry slug as well as a preventative. It basically creates a shield of armour. It's a kaolin based clay, but we also have our seaweed powder mixed into it to give it that boost of energy and feeding the plant as well. So while you're protecting it, you're giving it a feed at the same time. Now, you need to put three heaped spoons, teaspoons or tablespoons, tablespoons preferably, I've got a teaspoon here, so I'm going to put a bit more than that, but that's a heap spoon there. So I dare say that's a good tablespoon's worth. So three of those in one litre of water, mix it well, and pour it into the bottle for the easy hand sprayer. If you're making a mix, top it up with a bit more water. And the best way to apply it is with our easy hand sprayer, folks. It is a cheap unit, meaning at price-wise, because normally $23.95, they got them down to half price, less than half price this weekend. Um, and the, the flow rate on this unit is about the best you'll find anywhere with so very little effort to be put into it. Controlling nozzles here, up and down swivel. You're not gonna get a better spray in the market for the price you're paying for it. And it is a brass fitting and all that sort of stuff. The few problems that you may occur with, like all sprayers, are very easy to rectify. The main concern that happens with this and you can't see it now is your hose may be too long and it touches the bottom of the bottle which causes it to suction itself to it and stops the flow rate that's as simple as cutting the hose to make it a little bit shorter or getting a longer bottle and when you apply it as i've always said to the point of runoff folks it's got to be dripping when it dries it should turn completely white like snow on a tree now you can apply it before you prune or after you prune, preferably after you prune. So go around and spray all your trees folks, just like this with CGWS, citrus trees and fruit trees inclusive as a protection spray because it will protect your trees from citrus gall wasps, pear and cherry slug and codling moth. Now CGWS is available on our website, facilitiesgarden.com, huge special on it this weekend with the easy hand sprayer. We've also got our black grid sale, 65% off, that's a flat rate 65 off all black grid. Check it all out, VasilisGarden.com, and there's also a secret discount going on this weekend on everything else online. And the secret code is secret. Type that in to get your discount and enjoy some great products at discounted prices from Eva Silly, Maresi.